Right, hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to the vlog. If you're new to the channel, a big warm welcome. My name is Tristan Mortlock, this is Captain's Vlog. We're currently engaged in towing operations. We've now left the dock. I've got a tugboat on the stern and one connecting us to the bow. Um, so I'm going to give you guys a quick look at what's going on here. Jason now has received the tow line. Okay guys, and so now what's happening? Uh, We've got the tugboat on the bow. There's Jace, line connected. We're coming through the bridge. We've got a tugboat pulling off the stern. And then there in the distance, we got the chase boat. Right, before we move on guys, I'm delighted to announce that today's video has been sponsored by Yacht Beach. Yacht Beach provide and supply a wide range of inflatables, including being the European and Middle East distributors for one of our other sponsors, Aquabanas. One of the key inflatables is the 4.1 platform. There are numerous ways to personalize their platforms, including custom printing their artificial marine leather with many colors, textures and branding to match your yacht. The great thing about it is that you can interchange the surface as it's attached with Velcro, which is also handy if it gets damaged or you simply want to change the design. Another fantastic thing is these platforms are fully compatible with all of the Aquabanus products and can be set up in multiple ways. You can add sofas, you can attach them around the sea pool, create a jet ski floating dock using a T-shaped configuration and so much more. Not only can you use these products on yachts, but also beach clubs, hotels, resorts, anything that's related to the water. For more information, go to theyachtbeach.com or contact Nate on nate at pod.international. I put all the links in the description below. And finally, I'm very pleased to announce that if you mention Super Yacht Captain on your order, you would get an additional 10% discount. So don't forget, to mention us. So what's happening, they're just lining us up with the canal, and then once we're lined up, the tow like the tow vessel on the bow will start pulling us. You see that's the canal, we'll go down right there. We've got the other tug vessel on the stern. Chad is monitoring that and giving me the information you were using our radios. There we have it, beautiful day for it, no winds, so it should be nice and chilled and we'll be on our way. What I have to do, I'll just monitor here in the bridge. We've got the bow thruster active and the steering active, but the two main engines are off. We do have both generators running because we're using the bow thruster, therefore we need the jennies. In the monitor that gets quite shallow, shallow and it's quite, the, the, the canal bed is quite muddy. So just allows me to monitor to make sure we're not sucking up too much mud into the strainers. How's it going, Chad? Um, is it recording? It's recording, man. Come on, on the spot. Good sir. morning. Good morning. So it's so funny. Chad's got his GoPro, and he's like, "Hi, welcome back to the channel. I'm Chad. Chad, welcome back to the Chad's channel. channel. Chad's <laughs> channel. <laughs> so good. So, have you ever been tugged before? Have you ever? Have you ever been tugged? Question for you guys: Which flag do you fly when you require a tug? Zulu. And then we've got the Geminator on the dock. She looks like she's doing a time lapse or a video. Maybe for this video, who knows?
right guys, you can see glorious morning for a cruise on the canal. The tug tugboat at the stern. The man in charge, the tugboat master. Got a GoPro 360, uh, GoPro Max. That's thanks actually to Jared Watney because I know he used that and this footage is awesome. So Jared, thanks for the recommendation. So using that, looking forward to playing around with it and seeing what the footage is like. Here, look at this guys, the sunflowers are starting to blossom kind of, almost there. It's no wind today, so most captains know when it's not windy and you're manoeuvring these tight quarters, it's uh, not so much stress. So yeah, glorious day. Shipyard we're leaving behind, so after, that's been our home for the last eight months. But anyway, we're gonna make our way up to the sun deck to give you guys a better perspective of actually where it is that we are, because we are pretty much inland. You see like these are the sunflower fields. Look at this, how beautiful is that? Can you imagine what's all blossomed? Awesome. And look at that, isn't that a great shot? What do we think guys? Look like at this Chad down there doing his thing. He's got his GoPro out, he's trying his vlogging. So go to Chad's channel on YouTube. No, I'm joking, it doesn't exist yet. He might be starting one, we don't know. I'm trying to convince him. But he's always vlogging. When you're vlogging for the first time, I remember it's kind of awkward because you're not used to it. You've got this camera in your face, you've got to talk to it. And people look at you funny, especially when you're vlogging in public. But over time, you just get used to it and you kind of, you know, stop caring what people think. Uh, so, what's going to happen? We've got, have you guys can see, we've got a bridge here. Once we pass this bridge, we're going to pass very close. We're going to tie alongside here in the canal. We're going to be met by the team of electricians and crane operators. Then they're going to install the radar mark that's going on here, which I'm hoping is there already. Oh, they've already come back for it. And then we can see Harry just there, following us with the chase boat. He's cruising down. Look, what a, what a bad way to start a day. What's the time? Time now is 6.25 in the a.m. We're on deck by 5.30 this morning. Tugboat pulling us nicely. Jason's on the bridge at the moment, manning the helm. Uh, so operational, the thrusters, the steering, and on the VHF with the, the two tugboats. And then, uh, part of the jobs with the radar mast, we've got the SSB antennas, which goes on the side of the sun deck here, both starboard and port side. And that's pretty much it, yeah, guys. So you can see the way we tied up here, basically a V. You've got line on here going to the tugboat. There he is, two thumbs up from the man himself, the big boss man. And then we've got another line here. There's a twin double connected and he can control the stern that way. And then we'll make our way to the bow. How's the vlogging going, Chad? Right. Any good? I don't know what to say. It's quite, I was just saying to the, cat, the, the viewers, it is quite tricky the first time you're vlogging. You just gotta use your experience and what you've learned to talk, to talk and hopefully teach the viewers a thing, you know? Yeah. Your, your content needs to be kind of educational or entertaining. Yeah. So just, just talk, like, we talk about the sunflower field, we talk about the seven stars in eight months going under a low bridge, once we pass it, we're gonna put the radar mast on. So just talk about the day, what they, what they can expect yeah. to see. I'm not calling myself a professional vlogger, but uh, coming up two years I started the channel now. Two years, September. And so, mooring lines on the bow, or more towing lines, better said. So you see what the ends here with the chafe guards, and then that also creates a V, as you can see. There's the tugboat. There's the tugboat master waving. Hey, we're looking nice and shining in this morning sun. Guys, I've done a good job with the cleaning. So, if you are new to the channel or you're watching one of these, uh, one of my videos for the first time, we're running a competition. To give you, the viewer, a chance to win a week's vacation here on board, motor your AWOL, and also includes the chase boat. 
for you and five of your closest friends and or family. Flights included from anywhere in the world for the six of you, all expenses paid for to cruise the Mediterranean with myself and my seven crew members. All you have to do is go in the link in the description, the raffle link, follow the instructions and buy your tickets. Tickets start from 15 pounds, which is around 20 US dollars. And you could win the ultimate dream vacation of a lifetime. So go and check out the link in the description, guys. Oh yeah, I think, uh, well I haven't edited the video yet, but uh, got a little time warp thing going on with the GoPro. Pretty good, pretty good. Right, so this is the moment of truth, guys, because the reason we removed the radar mast is because of this bridge here. Now, we know we got through a gilling here, but we don't know, the tide might be higher today. So there's always what we call squeaky tum, squeaky tum? Squeaky bum time on board. Chef has decided to join us this morning. Good morning, Chef. Hello. And it's gym gear. It's tough being a chef on a super yacht. And uh, this is it. We ain't, we're gonna graze the, the satellite domes? Nah. Chad? No, no. I wonder. <laughs> what do you reckon, guys? It looks quite high here. When you get closer, it gets lower and lower and lower. The fit well, the feeling does. It doesn't physically get lower. It's your mind leaves it does. But uh, I think we'll be, we'll be okay. So according to Chad, he's saying it's low tide because I guess you can see the, I don't know if you can see on camera, but you can see the, the, the green algae, it's up high, so it's a bit lower. But that could be somebody messing with you. Oh, somebody going to paint it. Yeah. <laughs> and then if you look off guys, we've got Harry there in the distance. You see that with the chase boat. And you've got the Tiger Master there, he's just doing his thing, loving life. Thumbs up from him. Chef is about to start his workout. Not a bad place to be working out, guys. Can you can you guys think of a better gym than, than this? You know? These yacht chefs have a really tough life. Smart as they get. <laughs> Getting closer and closer. The nerves. The nerves. Okay guys, here we go. The moment of truth is approaching. Are we gonna get under? Are we gonna get under? Are we gonna get under? Ah! Ah! Uh, I get a lot of criticism on this channel from the viewers that my camera work. Let's be very clear, I'm not a videographer. I'm a captain and I do this to share my experience and my knowledge and all the beautiful places that we go with you guys. And remember, it's free for you to watch. Chaz in place. I'll have his head taken off. Miles. Miles. Miles, you reckon miles? Moment of truth, people. Uh, ooh. Close. Close. Yes, we made it. So, plan now is, not sure you guys can see, but when we get to the next bridge, they'll stop the traffic for us. So those two people going to work, I do apologize. And we just past the next bridge, we're gonna tie alongside. There'll be a crane waiting for us to install the radar mast. Not a bad place to work out. Oh. 
your butts on camera, chef. You might get uh, some new fans. Seems to be very busy. Ah, uh, look, and here, that right there, bad boy, is our radar mast. Looking good, looking good, looking good. So basically, what will happen? We're gonna they're gonna lift this bridge in front of us, and then we're gonna be tying alongside. Then the tugboats will come back, hook up this barge here, which has our radar mast on, tow it just here, and then um, uh, installation. So, as we're coming closer, I'm going to have to be on the wing station here. Open this up. Bup, bup, bup. And we lock it in place. If you're wondering why it's saying no signal, it's because this camera is linked to the radar mark, which is currently over there and not on there. So, the only operation I'm going to have is the bow thruster and the steering. So back on the aft deck, and you can see they've um, partially now lifted the bridge again, because here comes our radar mast over there, which is being towed. And then they'll pull the barge alongside, and then at some stage there should be a crane coming to, uh, to lift it and install it in place. Radar Mars here. The only thing that's missing is the crane and the operator and the electricians. <clears throat> but uh, we wait, we wait, we wait. Right, so crane has now arrived. We're doing all the what do you call those things on crane legs? Just the stability thing, I don't know what they're called. And then now he'll just hook the radar mast onto the end of the crane and then lift it up, install it in place, put the bolts in, and then start rewiring. Here what we do, we have uh, Lukan here, the technician from Navil, and he's getting all the equipment that's mounted on the radar, all the cabling coming down, he's reconnecting it all inside of here. You can see the amount of cables and wires 
The Luca is the best, huh? The best, the best. <laughs> Smashing it. And then we've got Marco up there. He's uh, passing all the cables through as well, reconnecting. The radar master did a good clean, a bit of a polish. There we go. Fantastic. So, time is 10 to 10. Uh, the tug master, tow master said around 2 2 30, so we'll be here another four hours. Give enough time for the guys to reconnect everything, and then what I need to do then is start powering everything up. So, starting the radars, turning the MR Sat C on, turning the GPS receivers on, testing the not on the command lights, testing the uh, steaming lights, um, testing the CCTV. Again, we've got the two X band radars, testing the search lights, and what else do we have up there? That's about it, I think, that we'll be testing. Well, we've got the searchlight and the oh yeah and the night vision camera as well. It's so nice to be back in the water. It's so nice to be moving again with AWOL, even though it wasn't under our own power, but it's good. And then once that they're done there, we're heading down the canal to a place called Livorno. We'll be there for a few days to finish a few things. We need to do what's called the our annual radio survey. We have to do a thing called our LRIT, which is Long Range Identification, identification Tracking. Uh, that takes about 24 hours normally. And then once we've got the certificates for those, we can then um, head out to sea. We need to send the certificates to our flag state, to Malta, um, and then we'll be good to proceed. And then from there, guys, not on this video, but in future videos, we'll be taking Motor Your AWOL from Italy, going to my personal favorite cruising grounds, Croatia. I'm gonna take you on the journey. So at the moment we're in Pisa, east coast of Italy. We're gonna go down the, sorry, no correction, west coast of Italy, down the west coast, past, uh, down the Messina Straits, which is the straits between Italy and Sicily, around the boot of Italy. From there, we'll come up, head into Montenegro, maybe for a few days, and then from Montenegro, we're gonna head around into Croatia. And we'll be in Croatia for a couple of months. And then from there, we're not sure, but we think we might be heading to Mallorca and to the Balearic Islands, which is Mallorca, Menorca, Formentera, and Ibiza. So, anyway, wait for these guys to finish, and then we'll get towing again. So, radar mast is on. We've tested the radars, they're functioning. AIS is functioning. MFHF is functioning, VHF is functioning, Navtex is functioning, our weather station is functioning, all good. We've tested the nav lights and the backup nav lights, including the not under command lights. Those are all operational, we're happy with that. The decor lights, okay, not essential for the kick, but you know, quite important for the super yachts, is also working. And now we are on our way again. We just left the dock. Uh, it's there, and now we're getting towed down the channel. So I'm just monitoring here on the bridge at the moment. The only controls that I have is the bow thruster and the steering. We've got steering pumps one and two on just in case, uh, but really the guy in control is the tugboat on the bow. And uh, yeah, guys still prepping and uh, we'll hopefully we'll get to live on in the next hour or so. And then from there we'll be um, tying to the dock. Um, and we'll be there for a few days before heading to Croatia. Okay guys, we reached the end of the canal now and are opening the final bridge into the Livorno commercial port. Uh, we have now our main engines on, port and starboard. See, Viaggio. You
pilot mode to your AWOL cable on channel 1 2. Uh, Lee Ron, the pilot, this is Motor Yacht AWOL, AWOL on channel 1 2. Can you copy? Yes, Captain, go ahead. Yes, good afternoon again. Just for your information, we are now past the Calambrone Bridge and uh, requesting permission to proceed to Medi Jail. Okay, Captain, I reported that you were already inside. Okay. We have a one tanker uh, inbound, Captain. Uh, anyway, keep watching this channel. Uh, leave one no pilot, copy that. We have one vessel inbound. I will keep on watch channel 1 2. Right, so that's going to conclude today's video. Really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I really appreciate that thumbs up button because believe it or not, it actually really does help the channel. If you haven't done already, do consider subscribing. And again, a big, big thank you as always to our patrons for your continued support. We really, really do appreciate it. As always guys, look forward to seeing you all next time. See you, ciao.